Let's talk about it. Come on, man. We got the legend, Kenny the Shark Gant in the building, What's former up, Dallas man? Cowboy. Look, look, man, look show him that real quick. Got a little something. something. Super Bowl champion, Just Kenny the Shark. A little something, man. <laughs> Hey, your, your head coach, Jimmy Johnson, is, is elected into the Hall of Fame last yeah, year, man. absolutely. How, how awesome was that as a former player for Jimmy? Former player, it's, it's long overdue, yeah. I think. Um, but, you know, that that's not knocking everybody. There's some great coaches that have been out there. But a guy to come in so fast and make an impact, mm. not only on, on the city of Dallas, but a young kid like me coming from a small uh, D2 HBCU uh, gave me a chance, and, 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 and I was able to star in the Super Bowl. So, so, so he made a, a deeper impact with you you know, beyond being a player. Absolutely. Uh, can you expand on it? Yeah, I can expand on it. He, he reminded me. I tell people now when I explain to mm. what Jimmy Johnson meant to you, I said, Jimmy Johnson meant to me, he reminded me of my father. But he was about uh, a foot shorter, and he was white. <laughs> and uh, but he intimidated. He demanded respect, and um, and that's what I like. And that that was the difference between him and um. When I moved on to Barry Swiss, Barry, yeah, but Barry was a good man. He just had a different way of doing things. Yeah, Jimmy seems very, very old school. Um, yeah. I'm sure Barry was as well, but he definitely seemed like he demanded. I'm a younger fan, but he seemed like he demanded excellence from you guys, yes. and, and it worked, right? Yes. He, he and, came and, in and, and got and the rings. He had his favorites. Um, I've, I've known over time that I was one of his favorites, but because of his intimidation, <laughs> I never believed it. Mm. So, mm. Dawson. That's how he kept me on the edge. Y'all hear that? That, that that's, that's very – but no, seriously, that is so interesting is yeah. that, you know, you knew you were in good with him, yeah. but he made sure that you stayed. Absolutely. You know. In, in, in my lane. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes, that's excellent coaching, man. <clears throat> if you had to say something to these young cowboys uh, today, the, yeah. the Michael Parsons of the world and things like that, what, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, to, to kind of reach that success that you had as a player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I think success come from um, David Prince wrote a book um, about humility. Mm -hmm. um, and he says um, the way up is down mm. and the way down is up. So I think um, just humility is is the key to anything because you don't want to you don't want to boast i've seen it happen with some of the younger guys that are not here with us mm -hmm. i can't call names but i understand i've done i've done autograph signings with guys they show up late you know everything you do on and off the field is a correlation to what you do on the field mm -hmm. and I, that's that's with people how you get along with people, how you get along with um, your friends, how do you, because when we played back in the days in the 90s, man, we, it was at least 16, 17 guys hanging out almost every day. Different generation yeah. over there, man. <laughs> Thank God it was no yeah. Twitter back then. <laughs> oh, boy. And I, I did say that too. So it's mm -hmm. a different thing. I think it, it, we'd, have had some, we'd have had some things going on if the Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff was going on. But, you know, one thing we did, we stuck together. You know, Mike been in some stuff. I've been in some stuff. Um, it's a couple of guys been in some stuff, but the, the guys uh, always rattled around. Mike had to go to court. Troy was always in court with him. Uh, but man, Mike was supposed to be here. I really wanted to talk to Mike too. I would have loved to get y'all two together, oh, man. man share Mike, some and we go from Florida, so we we Florida boys. We, we just wild out. I love it. Though. I love it, man. The swag, man. You know, I, I just and love I it stay, all. And I stay calm mm. until you get another Florida boy with me. Listen. Well, so, then, then, it, dang it, 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 we need to get Mike here. Then. <laughs> okay, cut these cameras off. Me, Mike, me, Mike, and Kenny going get, get the kick. Mike, Emmett. Uh, Kmart, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kmart was from Florida. Uh, he supposed to be here too, ain't he? Oh no, you don't know Kevin Smith. Kevin, supposed to be here. Kevin yeah. Martin was from Florida. Uh, we, we had a lot of Jimmy Jones. 
Uh, we had a lot of guys, Russell, Maryland. Russ, yeah. You know, yep. you, when Florida boys get together. Jimmy we, knew where to go. He was smart. Yeah. He knew he knew he had done. He seen it. He seen it in Miami. He knew the recipe. And he put it in place in the NFL. But he knew uh, because we had some guys that was a little on the edge. But Charles. Uh, Charles. <laughs> but he knew. He knew how to stroke them, and he knew how to make them um, get the best out of them. Get the best out of them. I, I can say that to myself, man. He, I did stuff that I never thought I could do. Mm. I was never confident that I could even be in this spot, but he made me feel that I could do it and excel at it. And that's why he's all the fame coach. Yeah, absolutely. That's why he's all the fame coach. Absolutely. Hey, Kenny, this is fantastic, man. I don't want to hold you too long. I could literally sit here man, good. and listen to you <laughs> talk, talk all day, man, all day. Let's but, talk, um, man. It's, it's, it's what it is, man. If yeah, you got yeah. anything else you want to – No, no, I, let's let's keep it going a little bit, man. Yeah, I, I love hearing these stories about the, the those 90s teams from the yeah. Super Bowl champions. Right. Um, and I know Mike's not here. And I know Troy's yeah. not here and, and things like that. But you talked about him. And you talked about the brotherhood. Yes. Um. Just how close was was that group? You know, Mike, Troy, you had Emmett, the triplets, right? The, the how, great wall. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you how close we were. You don't you don't know Trey, you don't know CJ, you don't know because people don't know that, right? Because these all they outside of the, that. No, uh, these Nate, this Nate sons, this Charles mm. Haley's kids. Mm. They didn't know Destiny. They didn't know Little Kitty. Mm. These are my kids. Mm. But all these players knew each other's kids. That's how close we were. They had the kids have a fifth birthday party. Man, you see 10, 15 guys over there, mm. you know, celebrating a little five-year-old birthday. And I think uh, the brotherhood goes beyond on the field. I begin to trust you at your house as well. Yeah. Does that make sense? No, it does. It reminds <laughs> me of a quote. Uh, Character is who you are when no one's watching. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So, so who are you? Who are these guys yeah. that you need to count on right. when those cameras aren't on, those Correct. lights aren't on? Yeah, yeah. And it sounds like y'all were some stand-up guys Absolutely. and brothers, and and, and brothers, brothers, literally. I've right? been I've been knocked out in the bed, and my phone rang, mm. and you can get the oh lord. <laughs> What's up, man? What you need? Yeah. I, I, come get me. Yeah. They had some hotel doing whatever. Right, right. But they, when they need you, man, they we need to be there. Uh, there's too many guys getting in trouble, but they don't have nobody there for them mm. uh, to, uh, to take them out of a, that spotlight because sometimes they get caught up in that that light, that, that negative energy. Uh, I've heard Nate Newton talk a little bit about some of this on the show in Dallas. Now, he couldn't get too too detailed, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he talked about how there were certain players or certain people in yeah. the organization where I got to make a phone call. I knew that person would be there yeah. uh, for me. You know, during that time where it was wild, it was a wild time. It, it was. It was. Hey, I I, I was a, a PK, what they call a preacher's kid. I had new. I didn't know nothing. Oh boy, so you came to Dallas and from a small town came to Dallas. It was. It was ugly, you know, and I could just speak for myself. I can't even speak on they even everybody always bring up the White House. And I and I tell people like this here, I said, you could speak on the White House. You can ask me about the White House, but I was trying to fix my house. <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't yeah. I didn't have time to worry about the White House. To worry yeah. about the White House because my house mm -hmm. was in it was in bad shape. Yeah. So I'm trying to get home to let's try to make my house operate, you yeah. know, but you know, but we still, but it still was players on a team that was able to help and say, hey man, you know this is what you do communicate, communicate you gotta communicate, so you know, it, we, we, had a, we had a combination of bad boys I think you need that guys. though oh, it's, I, it's, I think you need that though and I think you see Micah trying to bring that closeness uh, yeah with, with with this team, he's he's getting to know. He talks about getting to know the offense guys, yes. getting to know the defense guys, bringing them over for cookouts and I'm, stuff I'm like going that. Over, I'm I'm going over Tuesday, man, and hopefully, uh, if I can get one to uh, uh, 
not buy into the system, man, mm. but just, dude, this is what family is, man. Yeah. Yeah. We we we've been here. We don't play we don't play it in the big games, but mm -hmm. we want you guys to get there. You uh, know we we more don't than we, anything. You know it don't like we just don't want you guys to win. Yeah, because we always want to be on top. No, dude, everybody. You, you want to share that feeling yes, with somebody with another generation. It's a it's an amazing feeling, and they go back to back, which is very mm. rare. Super Bowls come from a small town. I picked oranges all my life, man. Mm. So for me to experience that, I, I want because somebody in that locker room now didn't have like I didn't. I didn't have it all. Man, in college, man, we went to the HBCU. I didn't go to Florida where Emmett <laughs> could come in my in the dorm, you know, in the hotel when we first get drafted. He got a, a handful of money. I got a roll of quarters just so mm. I could call home. Mm. We didn't, you know. I know some players on that team has felt how I felt. But if you don't get out and reach one another, man, it's, it's I played for my brothers because they they gave me a chance. They gave me an opportunity. They knew I was all in. Yeah. But I knew they was all in too. <laughs> That's heavy because, you know, I that that feeling, yeah. I, I I want this team to have that same feeling yeah. so they can reach that success. Yeah. Let me tell you one of the things I did um, was when I was a fresh when I was a rookie. I keep wanting to say a freshman, but my first year down in Austin, I believed in my heart because I I'm, I'm a believer. Mm. I believed in my heart that I was having a good camp. Uh oh. But the, the newspaper always gave me something to go home, go back to the dorm and think about. Mm. And some days at next practice, I always was something different. And, and, and I thank God for Campo, uh, Dave Campo. Secondary used to, coach at the yeah, time, right? Dave Campo used to come and say, man, what's the problem? What's it's like mind. it's like night and day. You had one good practice, but I, I was reading that newspaper, man, because the newspaper always said I was on the bubble. He's gonna get caught up in the numbers game, uh, and I and so do I, I get away from my belief system. I do. I believe somebody else thoughts. I was I was in a. I was going back and forth, and then all of a sudden. I've, I've, I've heard some words. It's, it's a little old cliche. Why not me? Mm. You know, I know it's, some, it's a corner bigger than me. It's one faster than me. But I had to believe what I knew. It ain't nobody tougher than me. Right. I don't care who. It ain't nobody tougher than me. I mean, you showed that. You, you are one of the greatest special teams yeah. players in Cowboys history. And People don't understand, and you can talk about this. <laughs> that is not an easy. Nobody, thing to nobody do. wanted to do that, right? For obvious reasons, it yeah. had to be a tough sob. And, and, and nobody wanted to do that, and nobody won't admit it because everybody want to talk about how tough they are. But no, because what I used to do when those four hundred pounders, three sixty, four guys can hold hands and All form back a wedge, the wedge, and they called me a wedge buster. That's that's what I did. I, and I loved it. And, and I believe that it's kind of like a Steph Curry. Mm. When Steph Curry going, he he going to spark the rest of the team. When Chef Curry get to cooking, everybody <laughs> eat. When I, when I go down there and blow up a wedge and Michael Irvin is over there jumping up and down, waiting on that moment to see me. Cause I can I can look at the sideline and see Mike jumping up. That's it. That's it. That 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 knows he my he teammate is for that. me. Yeah. That that fuels him. If he's gonna go down there and knock three four people out, man, we we gonna go win this thing. You know. And, and that's what made that team special <laughs> yeah. from from the Michael Irvin's yeah. 
all the way to Kenny the Shark Gant, yeah. special teams to the, the the big uglies up front, to the defense head coach. <laughs> yeah. You all were one and played for each Absolutely. other, man. And I just hope we can get. Some, I, I get hope so, man. Because we had some point, guys that man. didn't talk, um, but that's that's your choice. Yeah, we we had every kind of relationship that you can have that always makes a championship team. I, and I and I, I I go to churches all the time. When I, when I go to church, man, I, I hear so much, and I, I hate to go off to No, no, no. But you I, I, think, I go to some some churches I go to, I always hear people talking about, man, I, 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 oh, he this, he that. I said, man, I come to, what if I was that person that came to church because I needed some help? Mm. It's, it's more, it's a lot of stuff that go on in churches because nobody want to be a team. You know, we got we we got a head, which is the pastor. Man, he gonna make mistakes because we're not human. Everybody's not. Yeah. Everybody's not perfect. Right. Why can't we talk about it in love instead of just going back and talk about it? Talk about it because we can become better if we just. Man, it was good for. It was good for Jimmy Johnson to tell us. They're going into the Super Bowl, the first one in 92, to say, hey, man, one week. Can y'all give me one week? Don't go out. He knew. He knew He knew his team. One week, don't go out. Don't drink. How you know we drink? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, no. Because he, he knew his players. Yeah. For him to say that, for one week, to sacrifice. We went up to San Francisco and beat them at home because none of us went out that week. And I believe that's where the phrase came from that game, right? How about them Cowboys? How about them Cowboys? That's because he told us that week, give me one week. this week. No drinking, don't go to no clubs. It was hard. But once you sit there and think about it, you know how Jimmy is and know he was for us as well. You sitting at the house like, damn, I'm going to go out anyway. Mm. But then you say, no, seven days? I can't go seven days? I can't go six days? Yeah. This, this got a stronghold on me. He rem it reminds me of Phil <laughs> Jackson, one of the greatest <laughs> basketball coaches of all time. He knew how to psychologically connect yeah, absolutely. with you guys, and that was important in y'all championship runs. Yeah, and he and he and he's predicted some stuff. We will win the ball game right in the three-inch letters. Mm-hmm. Man, that's that, that turn us up. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Yeah. That turn us up. Yeah. I still feel that. I, I can I can see I can see it float. Look, Kenny about to go out there. Hey dog. Give me one time. Get, get, listen, he about to go out there one time. Yeah. But it's you know, this cowboy life is uh, I'm glad to be back. I had moved back home. Mm -hmm. You know, I played my last three years in Tampa and I moved back home, uh, which is that's my area. Uh, but I just moved back here going on three years, November. Best thing I ever could have did. I should have never left. Mm. But, you know, I had to get, I had to had exercise some demons mm. that I had accumulated while I was here until I was able to, um, to, to. You're never, you're never done growing, no, right? Absolutely right? Yeah. not. Absolutely not. Yeah. Tell you what, one thing I, I've noticed over the years is if you give the Dallas Cowboys everything, you truly are a Dallas Cowboy for life. Yes, absolutely. And that's why I'm trying to f form some type of deal that I don't know what it's going to be called. Right. But Antonio Brown, mm. um, the running back they had, what's his name? Um, Le'Veon. Le'Veon Bell. They, I believe they screwed up an opportunity because that's one of the um, historic um, franchises. Pittsburgh, that yeah. They'll take care of you for the rest of your life, man. There's a handful of franchises like that. Pittsburgh is definitely one. Why, why would you just hold out and just talk all this trash? I, I'm trying to get people to realize, man, I, I try to make no – I don't think I did anything here in Dallas to not warrant 
what I'm going through now because I it's people call me all the time. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do that? That's not because I was a jackass. Mm. It's because I I was a champion. Mm. And I treat people like I treat the fans like they was part of the team. You do, sir. I, I've been to a number of events, <laughs> Kenny, and I and I and I've seen you and I can say your efforts in the community yeah. are, are felt. Yeah. You're, I see you all the time at these events, and I just think it's awesome. I hey, truly do. Man. I love it, man, because it's, 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 it's great parenting. A lot of people didn't have great parenting, but that still give me a chance to be a, an extension of my family mm. because I love you like that. Man. <laughs> Listen, this has been – I'm going to talk to you off air because this has been one of the most – the deepest interviews I've ever done hey, in my man, life. Hey, man, I appreciate that, man. Uh, really hit really hit home with some things yeah. there, brother. Uh, listen, stick around because I'm yeah. going to rap to you a little bit, Kenny. All right, man. I appreciate love you, though. man. This is yes, – love you too, man. All this right. is Super Bowl champion right here. Yeah. Kenny Gant, Cowboys Nation. Love right. easy.